Hi everyone, it's hedge cutting season. I just thought I'd do a quick little video to show you some of the perils that the brown hair streak butterfly faces in this landscape at this time of the year. So you've got a nice country lane here in Somerset. On the right, it's not being cut. I don't think it looks like it's cut as much. And you can see there are brown hair streak eggs on the blackthorn here. Um, phone's not focusing, but there's a tiny little white dot just there, you can make it out as a blur. There's a couple of other bits on these kind of bits of um, blackthorn which have been allowed to regrow. You can see it has been cut in the past, but it's uh, been allowed to regrow and it's this fresh growth that the brown hair streak lays its eggs on. You come over to this side, this has been cut in the last week or so. Um, all of that growth that the brown hair streak lays its eggs on has been cut off. Um, and even if there were some areas, of blackthorn here um, there's not much left um, and probably a lot of the eggs if they did lay on that side of the hedge would have been cut off by the flail and so that is one of the biggest challenges that this butterfly um, uh, has in this landscape I just want to walk you up briefly to this little bit up here and then we'll finish the video but the brown hair shoot butterfly in these lanes around my village in Somerset it's often confined to bits like this, gateways, track edges, um, little bits that don't get flailed. I found um, eggs last week, the weekend, on this blackthorn here, and this escapes the flail because it's not really of any use to flail, it's on a junction, it's parts that will get missed. Um, and, and really, that, the, the, it doesn't, the butterfly doesn't need very much. You know, you could easily leave this 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 side, like this side. Um, it might impinge a bit on his field of grass on the other side, but it's one of the perils this butterfly faces in Somerset where I live. And I'm finding it on lots of the lanes around the village now, new places. Um, and it doesn't need much to survive in the landscape, really. Just allowing the hedges to push out a little bit leaving bits that you don't necessarily need to cut every year, like this side. I mean, why does this side cut? I don't know. But there we go. A little interesting video for you. Thank you.